All right, hey everybody, friends of here. Welcome to Shadow Colossus Mirror World. I'm finally doing a, a a brand new playthrough of this game, but this time I'm going to jump right into Mirror World. So this series is going to be pretty dang short. So um, yeah, so that's kind of what we're going to be doing. So yeah, I'm going to start on a new file here so yeah that's what we're doing um not sure what mode that we're gonna be doing either normal or hard i might just save hard for like a for like a hard mode playthrough i might just do that later this year but uh yeah um so i guess we'll just do a normal playthrough i guess and Mirror World, here we go. And of course, you guys have already watched my other Let's Play of the game. If you haven't already, go check that out. Anyway, um. <sighs> so I think the plan is I'm going to try to do four bosses for this video. So yeah, I well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a like if you like it a lot. And also, subscribing helps too. Alright, well anyways. um, Let's get aggro. Aggro! Alright. And now, let's... Oh, but shoot, sorry. I keep forgetting the dang controls. Because it's been a while since I played Shadow Colossus. And the last time I played Shadow Colossus was... Yeah during my let's play of it last year and also when I did that versus race with Google on the Gaming Odyssey channel. So yeah. So the layout here is a little bit different as you guys can see in a bit. Everything is still the same. It's like all the Colossi arenas are in reversed except for the Shrine of Worship. The Shrine of Worship is still the same. It's still in the same spot. It's not pointed in this direction. Which is weird, but I don't know why. I wish they could have done that in Mirror World, but I guess they couldn't. So, in a way, let's head on to the first boss, Valis. Yeah! And as you know, I am still a Shadow Colossus professional, so basically, I can fight these bosses very quick. If I know what I'm doing. spots on the screen here that are just very dark to see these areas so recording this after I got my uh, my new computer all right Uh, it could be tricky till we get to the third boss. All right, here we go. I think you guys can probably see the temple all the way from here. I guess the little mini temple in his arena. Yeah, it's probably on this side. Yeah, it is. He looks so good, even in the mirror world. Alright. It's been so long. And let's stabby. And stabby. Kneel before me, Valus. Ah. Uh. Hell yeah. Alright. Now I will be doing a hard mode playthrough, but it won't be out after this. I'm probably want I rather want to do like a another short game after this. So yeah. That's why Little Big Planet 3 was kinda short. And boom. We are back. But anyway, that, that was why uh Little Big Planet 3 is kinda like a short let's play. 
because the story mode of that game isn't really that long to begin with, so... Yeah. Alright. Speedrun technique, of course, is jump stab. Jump stabs are very good. And I think I'll just stab him regularly, but until he stops shaking up, I'll do the jump stab again, because doing the jump stab is much of a speedrun tactic. Oh, fuck me. Alright. I'm gonna do this again. Mmm! You was dead, Ballas. First boss defeated. And... Boom. I forgot that their fingers are like human fingers with fingernails, so you could see that. First boss defeated. I wish you could skip these cutscenes, but you can't. Because I guess the cutscenes are just built in. I mean, you can skip, like, the beginning part of the game, but, yeah. Onward to the next Colossus, Quadratus. Right, where is that? Oh, that goes right there. I forgot. Echo! I might just add like the Colossus. Uh, pings that I use from like the versus race. I to know like which boss that we're fighting. I might just do that actually. That'll be pretty interesting. And yes, this is a playthrough that does not have the Sword of Dormant, so... Yeah. Maybe at some point if I ever plan on doing like a sh like a live- plan on doing live streams, maybe that- maybe I'll just do like a... Do a playthrough with the... Uh, with the, uh what you call it. With the Sword of Dormen. Yeah. Oh, man. D does it require the fucking horse? I don't think it does. No. Not that I could think of. I mean, there's like a corner that you can be part of and just stick the landing if you're not careful enough, but yeah. God, I forgot about the shading in this game. The auto shaders that went from light to dark. Oh man. What side is it? Alright, so he's like over here. I forgot. It's been so long since I even played this game. Oh man. God. The light projecting from the sword is just so hard now. Alright, Quadratus. Let's do this. Screen? No, no, sorry. Alright. Come on. Come on, you bitch! Put your hooves up! Lift your hooves up! Oh man, those eyes! Behind those glowing eyes! I do remember that there are three uh, alignments or glints in every every single Colossus area. Okay. Oh. Uh, 
trying to do that speed run that when he shakes so you can just immediately just jump onto his spine. But yes. Mugul didn't know that you can Mugul didn't know that you can like do the sigils in, in any order. With the ones that have like two weak points, but like yeah. I think it's gonna be very tricky for me to do a jump stab, but I'm just gonna do like these full stabs here. Just grabbing on a woman just Stabby stabs. Alright. And just fuck. Come on. Man, he shakes quite a lot. Whoa, he just he just hit a pillar. That might be some collision happening. There we go. Nice good jump stab. Oh, come on. No! No! Would you stop shaking, man? And you did again! <laughs> again, we've been going for like 12 minutes, but like, yeah. Already. Uh, this whole entire video. The tendrils. Oh man. Right now, it's Colossi time. Colossi number three is next. Mm. And that one is... Gaius. Alright. The... One of the best Colossi from the... In the game. Whoa, I don't know what happened to that dove, but that dove was just glitching. Out of nowhere, I have no idea why. Alright, normally it would be on the other side, but nope, it's basically this side. So yeah, yeah, Mirror World is so different. It's like you have to like, get used to it now. But yeah, I don't know what I might do. I might try to do like that sword jump technique that the third classes does when it does when you're on its sword. Anyway, there's Quadratus. All he's all in the sand, he decomposed in the sand. I think only him and Colossi, Colossus Ten, I think, only decomposed in the sand. Can't quite remember. Oh yeah, and Colossus Thirteen Phallix, I forgot. So yeah, I think now. We'll just go this way. I know you guys are probably asking me, you haven't found all the blue rocks in the game. Yeah, there's blue shade of rocks, that's probably what blue games did. I don't know what what for, but I'm sure we'll f people will figure it out. There's probably like a ton of theories going on. That's why I keep asking Nomad if there's more secrets instead of the Sword of Dormin. Boom, boom. Yeah, all these areas at the top, it's like. It's like the mountains, it's like. They, it's like they were meant for like fighting bosses, but like. Yet this game is so big. Why have it only be up to 16? Why not just stick to the original 48? Or 26 even. I would have been fine if they did like 26 bosses. So then that would be like what? Like 16 more bosses? Yeah. Probably would have made the game a whole lot better. 
But yet the whole theory of like is there still a seventeenth colossus? I don't know. I don't think we'll ever know. <laughs> All the songs from the soundtrack are still in the game. Even a lot of the bonus tracks. But yeah. I'm sure there's possibly some structures or ways to get through these areas with the help from a parachute or something. Because I really want to explore the rest of this game with only objects that we have from New Game Plus. But anyway, let's head on to, let's fight the next boss, the big one. First humongous one, tallest. Oh yeah. Here's something that we can kinda do. You can actually get onto its feet actually if you're if you're not if you're careful enough, but I rather just, you know, try to hit him with the sword. Alright, come on. Hit me with the sword! And it's gonna step on me. No, I don't want that to happen. No, sir. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, God. I forgot when they when they stomp you, it's instant death. Turn around. Ah, shit. I don't get why they he, he does it. Like yeah, there's like sides so you can grab onto the on its legs that like, you can actually like, get on. I know you guys are probably going to ask me, oh, are you going to try to pray for the gods? I will if the full game is out. I'd rather wait until there's a bunch more bosses, and yeah. It's a lot similar to this game, actually, now that you think about it. Whoa! Guys, it's just, every time I can stomps on that, on this thing here, this... He always tries to, like, fall. I don't know why, but it's weird. Hey, come on. Come on, Gaius. You know what you gotta do. No, don't do that! Damn, son, I don't want you to stomp. I want you to hit this thing. Back up. There you go. There you go. Maybe your AI is just a bit weird for a sec. There you go. Come on. Back up a little further. Yes. I know you can also play this game with some filters on. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. That would have been pretty interesting. I don't know. Like, imagine playing the entire game in reminiscence mode. Wonder what would happen. In reminiscence mode filter. But, uh, yeah. Alright, come on, Gaius. Stick your f sword in the ground. Alright, quickly, 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 quickly get on it. Oh, oh, don't fall under. Oh, thank God. Oh shit! Come on! Oh, it's the other side, I think. Oh god. Oh. I keep forgetting. Usually my computer cannot handle the 60 FPS of the of this game, even though it does, even though my PS4 only, rec only records at 12, 1280 by 720, but it does kind of look like that mo that I am playing the game in 60 FPS, but which I ain't. I don't get why it still thinks I'm still on its arm. Well, not anymore. I am on his head. I am not throwing jump steps on this guy because he has a round ass head. If I do that, then I'm just gonna fall off of him every time, which I'm not going to do. Because <laughs> jump steps on this guy is hard. He is still mad. Still mad. Guys are still mad. Oh god! Oh jeez. 
the other thing that Pray for the Gods has is that it all takes place on a blizzardy snow area. And it's kind of like, it has like the stuff that Breath of the Wild has as well. So it's like a mix between Breath of the Wild and Shadow of the Colossus. So yeah. If you like a game that's like both. That's both Shadow of the Colossus and Breath of the Wild. Then Pray for the Gods is the right game for you. And it's one. On, it's on Steam, so you can get it on Steam. All right, next up is your belly. Man, man don't drink too much. You'll get belly ache. <laughs> Guys, is about to get a belly ache. Of stabs. Oh, come on. They're gonna have such a hangover and dead. You is dead. Don't drink too much, you'll get buried. Mono. It's Mono, guys. Calling us from the afterlife. Where's the eco remastered? Uh. I have to redo that game now. Alright, onward to the fourth boss. Which is Phaedra, the giraffe, horse, maybe it's a horse, but I think it's maybe a giraffe. Yeah. Yeah! Anyway, yeah. Like that pillar at the top there does look a little bit like a unicorn a bit. Especially on like the, on the, on the, what you call it, PS2 and PS3. Even though the PS3 version is like, it's just slightly remastered, but, yeah. skip this cutscene if you want. I think this place is called uh, called Graveyard because the, the, the tunnels that you go under are basically graveyards or graves even. Come on. Come on, aggro. Get your shit together. I think this was the place where I got my first enlightenment, I think. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's hope Phaedra's tail does not glitch during this recording. Like how in that one weird glitches video. I don't know if any of you guys know this, but you can actually go to the shadow in the in the Colossi areas before you even fight them. And they won't be there per se, but like they just won't be in there until like you fight the boss. Alright, come on Phaedra, you know I went into the tunnels. Into the graves. Okay. Let's see what we gotta do here. Alright. Phaedra, whatever you do, do not turn back. 
I can't remember if the Colossi do tend to like go back to their spots where they were and just restart the fight. I mean, if you leave the areas, I think the fight will have to will restart. I think. Yeah. Let's see, where is Phaedra now? Phaedra's right there. Okay. That's good. That's good. At least his tail ain't glitching. Gonna crouch. Come on, Phaedra. You know I'm there. It's, an, it's not like you can't hear me or anything. Which I don't think you can. Put your head down, 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 down. Put your head down. Put your head down. Okay. Ooh. I heard that. Girlfriend ain't got her periods. Oh, I could have just waited over there. Whatever. If Hadra would have just done that once, I would have been, uh, you know, getting on its head much quicker. But yeah. But now, you're on its weird ass looking tail. I like how Phaedra is just. Like, all the rocks are just resembled like bones and stuff. It's just real cool. I kind of thought it was pretty creepy. But even though. For me, I was trying to go for like a dead giraffe or horse type vibe. Oh god! Maybe. Maybe for me, you had I was trying to foreshadow. Foreshadow us or something. Here we go. Lift down your neck! And then I can jump stab! Oh my god! Don't fall off! Oh my god! Get off of the crown! Yeah, it's hard to do jump stabs on Phaedra. But even if you're doing like normal time attack or harm mode, the best way to deal with this fight is to do jump stabs on the head. It's how like you can get it done much quicker anyway. Boom! Done so. We have the first four bosses defeated. First four colossi. And then for the next episode, we'll take on maybe 5 through 8. If we're lucky. Yeah, that might be the plan. And whoa! Oh, I still is gonna break the game, but no, I guess not. Oh man.
Yeah, to reach is no easy task. Yep, I've dealt with that when on the verses. As you guys didn't watch it. Which you should. It's on the Gaming Odyssey channel. But anyway, yeah. I'm gonna head and end this video here. So next time we'll head on to Colossi 5 to 8. So yeah. Anyway. That's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Before I some views, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Bye bye.